Good morning, my name is Sandy Matheson. I'm the Vicar of St Paul's in Salisbury Green. And uh, this morning I thought I would do a tutorial video of automating OBS for broadcasting church services. You can use this, so for instance, uh, if you are broadcasting morning prayer and it's pre-recorded, you can broadcast it at the same time as being somewhere else entirely, for instance, taking a funeral. Uh, I use it four times a week uh, when I have others who pre-record morning prayer for me, uh, just so I don't forget uh, to broadcast it, which I did once, um, and uh, mainly because I'm not doing it. Uh, so it automatically uh, sets up OBS, broadcasts it, and stops broadcasting. So how is it done? Well, the first thing you need to do is to go to your browser and search for advanced scene switcher. Uh, and the top hit for me in Google is OBS Project Resources OBS Studio plugins and the advanced scene switcher uh, from OBS forums. Click on that and it has very straightforward instructions as to how to install it. I'm not actually going to install it now, it's already installed and working on my system. Uh, so go through those instructions. If you click on the link here, go to download, not the one here. Uh, go to download. It will download uh, the files for you and then we click on those. Uh, you'll see uh, the files for Linux, for Mac and for Windows. It's got the files there for each of the operating systems and it's got very straightforward uh, instructions as to how to install it. I'm working on a Mac uh, and installed it a little while ago. So uh, go there install uh, the plugin and then on OBS under tools you'll have a new menu option for advanced scene switcher. So we're going to open that and there are quite a number of different tabs and different things that you can do in here. Uh, so I'm going to stop it otherwise uh, I will uh, lose what I'm doing. Uh, we go to the scene sequence which is the only tab that I've been using. You could do a lot more with this but this is the tab that I use and you'll see there's two switches here. So the, it will switch from the morning prayer title which is my title slide. Uh, it'll wait for five minutes 300 seconds and then switch to the uh, morning prayer video which one of my colleagues uh, has recorded. Uh, it'll then wait for th 724 seconds and go from the morning prayer video to the end title. So if we just take a look at those, so it'll go to each of those in turn. Uh, you need to know in seconds how long the video is. Uh, for the person who's doing morning prayer or your pre-recorded video. I'm going to go back to the advanced scene switcher uh, and just show you it in operation. So I'm going to reduce these uh, to five seconds each. Five seconds for that and to change the timing, it took me a little while to work this out, you have to then hit the plus button again. So if you uh, hit the plus button and it's changed to five seconds and we'll change that to five seconds as well so it's going to do two switches uh, it's going to switch from the opening title uh, to the video and then from the video to the closing title I'm going to click that and then I'm going to start it and I'm going to put the morning prayer title.
Good morning. So you'll see there that it automatically switches between the different scenes here based on time, uh, which is fantastic. So for me, that's made it so much easier, but I also need to be able to stop OBS and to stop it streaming. So if we go to tools again, one of the options is the output timer. So on output timer, you can stop streaming and stop recording after a preset number of minutes and seconds. So you need to know how long you want the whole uh, broadcast to last for. For me, uh, the morning prayer is five minutes. Uh, the video is about 10 minutes, but it will vary and I alter this each time I set it up. And then the morning prayer title is up for a minute. So say we've got five minutes plus 10 minutes plus one minute, uh, that's 16 minutes. We simply alter this to 16 minutes, enable it and then close. And that will stop the streaming after 16 minutes. So you, in this instance, you would start it manually, click on that, start streaming, and then you can walk away. So after you click the morning prayer title, you can simply walk away uh, from it and it will do the rest for you. That's brilliant and that's really helpful as long as you remember to start it. Wouldn't it be brilliant if you could schedule it to open OBS, to open your uh, morning prayer uh, scene collection and then to go through each of the scenes and then close and stop automatically. You can't actually get it to close OBS, but you can get it to stop uh, streaming automatically. So how do you do that? Well, I'm working on a Mac, so I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mac. Uh, there will be ways of doing it on Windows, uh, and if people really want, I will look into that and see if I can work out how to do it. But these are the instructions for doing it on a Mac. The first thing you need to do is to open up Automator. So I'm going to open up Automator. Uh, and unless you've done things on your Mac, you may never uh, have used Automator before. Um, what we're going to do is fairly simple. So I'm going to open up the, um, there we are, I'm move over here a bit. I'm going to open up the um, Automator and we want a new application. So we're going to choose the application and then what do we want? Well, we want to go down here until we find run shell script. So I'm going to click on that and then drag it to the right hand side. You don't need to know anything about code or anything to do that. Uh, I'll show you the code that we need to use. So once we've got it there, this is the code that we need to ask it to run. So firstly, the top line uh, simply says, uh, put it within this path so it knows where to find the files. Uh, then we open OBS and this is the uh, address for OBS on my Mac. Then we want to open the collection, the scene collection of morning prayer. Uh, then it's going to open the particular scene of prayer title, which is the first thing you want to show. And then it's going to start streaming. So I want to copy that. I'm going to uh, get rid of that for the moment. And I want to paste that into here. So I've now got a shell script, which is going to open OBS, uh, open it at the morning prayer scene, and then uh, set it starting to stream. Now I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop and call it um, 
open OBS. You can call it whatever you like. Uh, so we've now got a new file uh, which is called, and let me uh, pull it so you can see it. There we are, open OBS. So I'm now going to close this down and I'm going to close OBS down. But I'm going to run open OBS. Uh, it doesn't need to access the microphone um, and you'll see it's opened it. It's now running through the scene switcher. Good morning. And then it will go to live stream. And if you set the timer, it will automatically stop streaming. Oh. I didn't mean to stream that. I'll have to go and delete that in a moment. Um, it will stop streaming at a specific uh, length of time because of the output timer. That's brilliant, but you have to double click on Open OBS. Wouldn't it be brilliant if you could schedule that to do it at a certain time? Well, you can. So I'm going to open up my calendar. And uh, you'll see on my calendar, I've got four uh, entries for uh, auto morning prayer. So you need to put an entry in a calendar and it needs to be a calendar on your Mac. I've got a lot of uh, Google Calendar here. They won't work. These Google Calendars won't work. It needs to be on your Mac. If you've not got one, uh, go to File and New Calendar and set one up on your Mac. Then we need to set the uh, trigger to do this. So I'm going to set a new event and um, I'm going to call it Open OBS uh, and whatever time you want it, we're going to add an alert. But it's going to be a custom alert and the custom alert is going to open a file. So we set that to open file and we don't want it to open a calendar file, we want it to open an other file. Now we need to uh, navigate to where we've got our automator script and select that. And when we want it done, we want it at the time of the event. So that's fantastic. Uh, what's the time now? 11.55, so I'm gonna put that for 11.50, uh, 56. And close that. Sorry, it won't work because I'd already got OBS open. So let me close OBS. I'm now going to set that for 11, uh, 50, 57. And at 11, 57, uh, the uh, calendar entry here will automatically open OBS, open it at the right uh, scene selection. Uh, it will then stay on that scene selection for however long I've set it to and then it will stop. So it'll go to the next scene, then the next scene and then the output timer will stop it streaming. Uh, I'm actually going to have to stop it streaming very quickly because uh, this is live and uh, it will automatic. There we go. I get a message saying it's uh, doing its work. So there we are, five seconds, five seconds, Good morning. and then on to the last scene. And that will enable you to totally automate pre-recorded videos for uh, services. Uh, you can't totally automate ones that you want live video like this, but if you've got pre-recorded videos, uh, maybe you've pre-recorded your whole service. You can set it like this and it will automatically go out at the right time. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you've got any questions, please do get in touch with me uh, and let me know. 
Uh, I'm going to post this onto Facebook and it will be a, a YouTube video. So I hope that's uh, been of help to some. Thank you for listening to this uh, and God bless.